Vesper, Presbyterian Church, 1 Corinthians 13. For now I see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, and then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. John Knox never imagined how future Presbyterians would one day arrive in the new world to steward until the land where children and grandchildren and their offspring would grow as high and resilient as wheat planted under a winter sun, bright with the promise of America by their forebears from distant and troubled nations without peace or plenty or choice, raising when they first arrived white wooden churches across a sea of prairie grassland, blown clean by God's breath, across fields fertile in mercy. And what was to be a renewing and abundant generosity where they could see both near and far past all doubt, in a grander hope aspiring to the utmost curving heaven, where at night a perfect light would gather and bend inward as stars congregate to observe within a hushed stillness, answering with a mighty chorus from which creation bravely expands even now, reflecting a celestial splendor of this concealed mystery, imperceptible to humankind, wondering if we will ever know and be known by such an intimate force, believing in this longing, an aspiration of moral lives cultivating the countryside as another generation adopts a heritage of faith, ascending from blessed Terra, receiving from John Knox all these blessings made with prayer.